All right. Welcome back. Let's close it out with our final two picks. We've got a couple clubs here that might want to get some points before <laughs> the season gets uh, a little bit deeper. And we've got two teams who are really in some sharp form. Let's start there. North Carolina Courage versus Racing Louisville. This one kicking off Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you tune in and watch. Because, Lisa, for me, this is a game that I'm really excited about. I know we kicked off the top of the episode with uh, top table teams going head-to-head, perhaps a postseason preview. But this game right here, I just like the form that these two clubs are in. And I'm very curious about the makings of it and if there is an actual winner and a loser for you in this game. We've got Savannah DeMello, who will be headed off to her first ever World Cup with the U.S. national team. Casey Murphy, named to the roster as a goalkeeper for North Carolina Courage. Uh, I would imagine that these two players get minutes in this game yeah. just because of um, when we were talking about it, Lisa, we were talking about during the roster reveal that there are certain players on that U S roster who will play specific roles. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's unclear of at this moment, what type of minutes Murphy and or DeMello could see exactly. in the World Cup. So maybe this is the game where they yeah. make sure they close it out. Yeah. 100%. Savannah DeMello is going to be flying for racing Louisville this game. This is a player that um, with the U getting called up to this U.S. World Cup roster without having a cap to her name, um, the, the praise that she got yesterday on social media from teammates, from uh, opponents, from other colleagues around the women's soccer space that she has played with, whether it was collegiately or growing up or played against in the NWSL, was all – positive praise from her like she must have gone to bed last night with the biggest smile on her face i hope she didn't read any of the hater mail there's always haters out there savannah but don't read it she's going to be flying this weekend with confidence with um everything she's done so far with racing louisville right she's got the support of every single one of her teammates and her coaching staff in louisville uh, and it, this is a team for racing louisville that i think can just continue to to go on a little bit of a run. Now they're they're traveling to North Carolina, um, and this is a team, two teams that just played against each other. It was a two-one win to North Carolina at the end of May, uh, where North Carolina went up early, two goals, and and Louisville comes back with a Jordan Baggett goal in the 88th minute. But Louisville in that game, the stat wise, they outshot outshot North Carolina 17 to 13, and shots on target six to five. So this was at the start of racing Louisville's build up to getting more consistent with Savannah DeVello in the midfield and, and Jalen Howell and, and the mesh of the players coming together. And that's when Louisville really started to go on their run. Now, North Carolina is coming off of two really big scoreline games. Their second straight win, 3 nothing and 5 nothing, Two shutouts, eight goals in two games. I mean, North Carolina and Caroline, Caroline, frankly, is hot. Oof. I think she cools off. So for me, I'm giving this one to Savannah DeMello, uh, Racing Louisville, go big perp in this one. I, I think Caroline cools off a tiny bit in this game. You know what? I, I, I hear you on that. I don't think that's unfair to say. I, I, I would even venture to say that Caroline, it's not so much that she cools off. I think that she goes up against uh, Abby Ersek. I think that she gets, you know, reintroduced to Jalen Howell. Like there's, there's, you, there's footage. There's two weeks of, of Caroline being an absolute menace yeah. on the pitch, driving uh, mean, defending insanity. players. Yeah, driving defending players just wild, right? Outrageous stuff. It's it's been a real treat to 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 watch and and, and critique and take a look at. Uh, watching it up close, I went to that that five spot that that five goal blowout where she got the hat trick against Chicago. It's just it's remarkable what she's doing on the pitch. But for racing, they're putting things together as well. I I look at this team and when we were previewing this match. Uh, or the, the previous match against yeah. Gotham, I said, you know what? Racing is good. They have good players. They go out there and they have fun. And because of that, they're always a treat to watch. But I need them to get a win. 
and I need them to get a win against a top table team. They've yep. shown they can hang around and hold their way and pull their weight against those sort of contending teams, but they had yet to get an actual win, a full 90 minute performance with three points. And then it finally happened against Gotham. So I'm happy for that because I chose them in that yeah. game to pick the win. I'm thrilled for that, that they put me right. But I don't know if they do it against this North Carolina Courage side. Come I am, on. I, I'm going to break it. I had to break it eventually. I'm going to go North Carolina Courage. Wow. In this one. We're talking about advantages. I really do think North Carolina. Yeah. Uh, Wake Med is, has become one of those places that has kind of become a little bit of an advantage for um, for North Carolina. Abby Erseg is no stranger to, to going up against Caroline. But – we could see Caroline cause enough chaos that she doesn't even actually have to score. She can exactly. force the own goal. So I'm, I'm, I like the way this courage team has played. They have clearly been bought in since week one. Impressive. They want to keep the ball. They want to exactly. retain the ball. And they have shown that now that they are going to keep the ball, that they're going to figure out a way to do something with it. Yeah. So I think that racing hits a little bit of a bump. I think that we see some good individual performances from players uh, from, from, you know, out of Louisville, but I think Carolina has the tactics in the game plan to go ahead and pull off the win. And I think they're going to get it. Well, our, our three CAD could come to an end at some point. We had gone five for or four for four on the same picks and it just would have been a a weird twilight zone yeah. weekend if we, if we had all the same picks so i respect it i get it with north carolina as you talked about playing at, at home for north carolina has become a fortress for them um they're really bought in to what they want to do they had to shift up some uh, different priorities at the start of this season losing dabinia in the midfield and they finally hit a groove about where they're going to go but i'm sticking with racing louisville I love i've it. got all my eggs in the savannah Demello basket I, I think this player is just to the moon right like I, I love it i love watching her play i'm excited about it yeah, tune into this one for sure if y'all have the time. Last one for us to close out the episode. We're going to make a pick between Gotham FC and Chicago Red Stars. This one's going to close out things on Sunday. It's kicking off at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Gotham falling a little bit from grace a little bit for the month of June, Lisa. That's something that we have had to note uh, in, in your absence. Jordan and I were making these previews and these recaps, and they've cooled off in June. Yeah, they absolutely they stole our hearts in May and owned the month of May, but they've hit a little bit of some hiccups along the way this month. They are searching for a win in, in four games. They haven't had, they're on a winless streak at this moment. Uh, winless in four games. Uh, is this the match that they look at and say, Chicago Red Stars, let's eat and go out there and get a win. Is this the one for you? Was this an easy pick to make for you? Um, yeah, I, I think uh, this game is going to be difficult on on a little bit of fronts. As you mentioned, right, Gotham's, they've hit uh, a skid in their form. They haven't won in four games. They've come off a tough 2-0 loss to Louisville last week. Um, and, and their goal production is has been limited 100%. Just two goals in their last four games, and one of those being a penalty kick, which yeah. penalty kick is still a goal, not, not hitting it at all, but – it's not a run of play goal, which is what we were used to seeing from Gotham throughout May. Um, uh, for me, Gotham get, bounces back. They pick up points. They get this win. I think when we're talking about World Cup rosters and who's going, Gotham got a little bit of I'm gonna I'm gonna call it out special treatment yesterday with the roster drop because they're based in New York. They got to go on Good Morning America, and it was Christy Ewis and Kelly O'Hara and Lynn Williams getting shout outs before the roster even came out. They got to hold up their jerseys. A little bit of special treatment for them being in New York, and I think that's what they won. I mean. I'm a Philly gal. New York people are – that's what they want. They want the spot, the shine and the spotlight and, oh, we're going to sign contract extensions at the top of the – We're, we're power. getting regional with it. Come we're getting regional now. here. Because of that, <laughs> I'm going to give it to Gotham because they've got right. they've got the, this, like, spotlight on them right now, and these players are ready to go. I think Lynn Williams is one that 
has has talked about how she worked so hard to get back to this World Cup roster and get back on this national team after injuries. And she still doesn't feel like she's there. Like she's like, I can I can be better. I can be more consistent. I can prove myself. And I think that the mentality that we've seen from Williams over the last several months and the last year of getting back into her play and back into form has been the level up mentality. And and not that I don't want to say nothing's good enough, but that she can always get better and what can she can prove on and, and not getting complacent. And I think that this type of game is one that we could see Lynn Williams bounce back and say, you know what? I, I, at this point, she's made the World Cup roster. She wants to be a starter when she's in the Southern Hemisphere. She, she's she got to score some goals, um, and she's got to get on the board. I think Christy Mewis is also one that's been – pretty stoked to make her first World Cup roster um, at, at the age that she is and at the point in the career that she is that I think she's going to want to come out and prove. Um, and Chicago just, uh, they fight, they've been fighting in their recent games, but I don't think they pick up the points and I'm giving it to the New Jersey, New York side. Listen, I think that's a smart, logical, common sense pick to make in this matchup look I got to, <laughs> no no i got to I, look i got to hop in on, on the media availability with, with juan carlos amoros and you know he he said in regards to this match and and the players who will um eventually depart on the team and then head off to national team camps that they want to send them off with that feeling of a win with the mm -hmm. feeling of obtaining three points they think it's important they've been They've been winless, like I said, in, in, in four games. So they <laughs> they're looking for that taste again. It's 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 gone missing for for this team. And uh, I I have no doubt that they're gonna be motivated motivated by that in a number of ways. Um, this is a team that they've already got a win against on the road when they uh faced Chicago out in the Sea Geek Stadium. Um, but it was also a, a game in which Chicago had a response and kind of quelled some of what Gotham was trying to produce. They, it wasn't enough to eventually come back and get a win, but it definitely was a tale of two halves. And you know what? All logic and common sense probably means that Gotham is going to go into this uh -huh. match and walk away with three points. But it's my birthday. I'm not going to have any common sense. And you know what I want for my birthday? I want a Chicago Red Stars dub. So I'm going to go with the Chicago Red Stars, not for a prediction, but just for a birthday. <laughs> that is the quote of the episode. It's my birthday. I don't want any common sense. Amazing. <laughs> um, I, I like where you're going with it. You got to stick with the hometown team on your birthday. Maybe we'll see. you'll get we'll, some birthday goals from the Red Stars too. Yeah, we'll see what happens. You know, I, I know there are, we've talked a lot about players who have been named to, to the roster and, and how they're going to want to have strong performances and strong games to go off of. Um, and we've seen uh, Alyssa Nayer kind of absorb, mm -hmm. you know, a game that comes to her. I think we saw that against uh, that Orlando Pride team where they, where she in the back line faced a lot of attack and uh you know you hit it right on the head lisa you know lynn williams is going to be on the hunt but i yeah. think a listener is going to want a strong game to to exit uh on that match as well and uh, i'm sure her teammates are going to want to make sure that they send her off uh you know totally. in, in, in strong form so i'm i'm very excited for for this matchup and uh we'll, we'll of course have the recap and talk all about this and see where our picks lied and if we were correct but uh for me no common sense, just birthday vibes. Let's go.